In this video, we'll learn about Butterin's paradox, which will show us that intuition does not always lead to correct computation of probabilities. And we require a more fun mathematical foundation, a more solid mathematical foundation to compute exact probabilities. So our problem statement is like that. We consider a equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle of radius r. And then we choose a ra chord randomly. Right? So a chord of the circle is chosen at random. And then we need to calculate the probability that the chord length is longer than a side of the triangle. So this is a equilateral triangle, so all the sides are same. So if there is a circle and then there is a tri equilateral triangle, and we choose one of any chord in this circle uniformly at random, then what is the probability that chord length is longer than the side of the triangle? Start with, we will fix one endpoint. We will show later that selection of this endpoint is not going to change the final probability. So this endpoint can be taken at the corner of, at any corner of this triangle. Once we take this endpoint, we can draw many chords from these, starting from this endpoint, and the other endpoint will be somewhere on the side. If you draw a tangent at this uh, point, we will see that each of the chord can be represented by an angle, theta. And then the, the theta minimum value can be zero, which will correspond to very small uh, chord uh, of almost length zero in, in the left direction. And then theta equal to pi will show the other chord again of almost zero uh, length in the right direction. And the rest of the chord with any theta between them will have will give the different chords. So the total angle is actually pi and each of the chord, for example, this green chord right now can be represented by an angle theta. Each of these chords can be represented by an angle uh, and different angles, okay? So now we see that if we have to pick a chord, we can equivalently say that we have to pick an angle. And once we say that angle is picked, it means that particular chord has stick. And then because the total angle is 180 degree, now we have to compute the probability that what angle corresponds to those chords which are in length longer than uh, the side of the triangle. And if we calculate, can compute that angle span, we would be able to compute the probability. So if we look, if we see carefully, we can see that if the chords are taken in this angle span, which is of 60 degree, then all the chords in this will have a length longer than the side of the triangle. This is pretty much clear from this picture. And if I take instead the chords in this angle span shown in the green here, all the chords will have a length smaller than the triangle side. And same is also true from the other side of the triangle. So if we want to compute the probability of this, we just need to calculate the probability of selecting a theta in this angle span. If you recall, the total angle is pi, and this particular angle span is 60 degree or pi by 3. So probability of selecting a theta inside this angle span is nothing but pi by 3 by pi, which is 1 by 3. So this will be the probability of selecting a uh, chord longer than the side of the triangle. And then if you recall that we have fixed the end point at the corner of the triangle, Suppose we take the end point at some other location. This is not going to change anything because we can just rotate the triangle and it's not going to change the property because the triangle lengths are still the same. Similarly, we can take this end point anywhere on the circle and it's not, it, all the probability will always be same. It will be one by three. So the total probability of selection is also one by three. So we saw that this probability is one by three. We will recompute this by another approach. Let's call this approach one, and hopefully the other approach will also give the same answer one by three. 
So instead of taking a fixed point, we can also take a fixed orientation. So suppose I fix the orientation, which means I'm only going to take chord in this particular direction. So this will be nothing but a tangent to the circle. And if I'm going to pick chords in this particular direction, I can arrange them in uh, as per the distance from the center. So the way I'm going to pick this chord is first I'm going to draw the radius, uh, which will connect this tangent point to the center. Then I can pick any point in between and make it at the center of the chord. And this will uniquely uniquely characterize the chord, right? So if I look at this chord, it has a particular center which will fall on the radius. And if I fix that point, I am actually basically fixing the chord. Similarly, I can take different chords by just choosing different center points. Now, how do we characterize this chord, right? For example, if I take this particular green chord, this can be characterized from the distance from the center of the circle. So if the distance I fix as T, I am basically fixing the chord, right? Because the orientation is already fixed, so there is only one chord at this particular distance. You can see I am leaving the other half of the circle because that is just symmetric. So now each of this chord can be represented by the distance from their center. Now we only have to calculate that what are those distances which will correspond to chords which will have length longer than the side of the circle. Total angles, total radius span you can see is R, right? So the maximum distance a chord can have is R and the minimum distance it can have is G. So in zero to R distance span, I need to calculate what distance per span correspond to those chords which have length longer than the side of the length and then the ratio will just give us the probability. So now you can easily guess that if I take any chord which has a center less distance less than this r by 2 this will have a length longer than the side of the triangle. Similarly all the uh, chords which have a distance longer than the r by 2 will have a length smaller than the distance of the triangle. So that this span is r by 2 while the total span is r. So the probability that you will select a distance which has a distance spans in 0 to r by 2 will be nothing but just the ratio which is r by 2 by r which is equal to half. So this is surprising because we were expecting 1 by 3, but instead we got 1 by 2. So let's call this approach 2. Now which one is correct? We do not know. So to know further, we can actually look at one from one more perspective, and we hope that it will confirm either of these choices so that we can know which one is correct. In the third approach, Instead of fixing the orientation or the uh, end point, we are actually going to characterize the chords by their center points. So I'm going to place the center points first, and from that I will guess, uh, I will uh, fix the chords. So how can I place the center of chords? I can just take a random point and draw a chord from that. So this will with the center at that particular location. And this will again uniquely characterize the chord because uh, by fixing the center point, you can only draw one chord from that. Similarly, all these chords can be drawn by fix placing their center chords first. Now our problem reduces in how can I place this center chord such that the chords will correspond, the co corresponding to that center point will have a length longer than the side of the triangle. So let us draw a circle inscribed in this triangle. Uh, the radius of this circle will be r by 2. By looking at the picture, you can convince yourself that if the center of the chord falls inside this circle, 
then it will have a chord length longer than the side of the triangle. Instead, if they fall outside this inner circle, they will have a chord length smaller than the triangle, right? Now we only need to calculate what is the probability that the center randomly chosen will fall inside this inner circle. And we know that if we are selecting a point in a 2D region, and we are interested in what is the probability that a point in a subset will be selected, we can compute that by computing the ratio of the two ratio of the area of the two regions, because picking a point is proportional to the area. So the ratio between these two circles is 1 by 4 because inner circle has a radius r by 2 and outer has r so the ratio is 1 by 4 so this should be the probability of selecting a chord having a length longer than the side of the triangle now we were expecting to get an answer 1 by 3 or 1 by 2 but instead we got another answer in this third approach which is 1 by 4 so now the question remains we got three answers each of them looks correct. So which of these are actually the right one? And in fact, it turns out that we cannot tell which one is the correct one by just the uh, from our intuition. We require a much a solid mathematical foundation. Then only we can define what these probabilities mean what the randomly choosing a point means, uh, randomly choosing a chord means, and then only it will be we will be able to tell which one is the correct answer.